So for a little while, I've been eyeing the WF-1000XM4s for quite a while because I am a huge fan of that same line of Sony's over-ear headphones, and I was just about to bite the bullet for a smaller pair. That's when Sony reached out to me and sent over their Sony Link Buds S. These are a simpler pair, but it's really a lot of what I would want while dodging a couple of bells and whistles here and there. So should you get these if you're on a smaller budget? Let's dive right in. So the exterior design consists of what I would say, well, the case itself has pretty rough texture to it that is pretty much unique to this product. You will not get any fingerprints, at least not until it starts to wear down, but it looks like that won't be for a long time. It feels pretty lightweight, it's pretty small, and it will work for most people for sure. On the case, you're going to find a reset slash pairing button and a USB-C port. You will also find an LED light that operates as somewhat of a battery indicator. Inside of the case, you're going to find the buds sitting magnetically in their charging slots. These buds have an identical feeling to the case where they are kind of rough in the material, but this will not affect your comfort at all. It's mostly just on the outer surface that you will find this to be the case. Overall, it's a pretty boring looking pair. However, what matters here is going to be the sound quality and we're going to touch on that very soon. So when it comes to comfort, I would say that that's going to be highly subjective. With the smaller tips installed, I still had moments when these would start to loosen in my ears, but that happens with every single pair that has this style of insertion. Now with that aside, once I've secured them well enough into my ears, I've had a very well, very little to complain about. They are light, they fit pretty well, and they are pretty comfortable to me. I've worn these for hours on end and haven't gotten any kind of fatigue from these, which is impressive. So I find them to be pretty comfortable, but not perfect in this regard. Now, when it comes to the features of this pair, you do get ANC and ambient sound, which is a pretty a pretty common feature at this point, but it's not really equal on every product, so we will be testing ANC pretty soon here. It's got IPX4 sweat resistance, touch gestures, high resolution audio, 360 audio, which is actually supported here, which did surprise me quite a bit. Now, as for touch gestures, you've got a pretty wide selection here for pausing and playing music, audio controls, triggering your assistant, and more. I really like the selection on these buds and find these features to be pretty neat, though I do somewhat miss having wireless charging here, if I'm a little honest. You also get to use Sony's headphones app to make adjustments on the fly for these buds. You even have access to a full EQ that allows for a lot of customization to the audio and some presets that I found to be extremely handy. So this is great. Kudos to Sony for making this a feature on a more budget conscious pair. Now let's go ahead and talk about the actual sound quality. Now I tested these out as they were out of the box at first and was not at all impressed. They actually sounded kind of muddy to me at first and that was their most balanced sound profile. So I knew that there was something off there. So I went straight into the app and started making adjustments. But I found that the Trouble Boost preset was already pretty good for every genre of music that I tested. So through the simple tap of a button on your app, you can substantially improve the sound quality without having to go back and adjust it for each genre of music. So after I found what worked for me, I was very happy with the sound quality. It's got a decent soundstage to work with as well, and genres of like let's say pop, hip hop, metal, rock, orchestras, and literally everything else sounded more than satisfactory with these. So I did genuinely enjoy the sound quality of these once I went in and chose a different preset. So when it comes to ANC, I honestly didn't notice much of a difference between off and on at first. It took some adjusting for some reason, which is not very common for me, but after getting used to it, I stopped noticing a bunch of other sounds around me even with these earbuds at lower volumes. Things such as my portable, super loud AC that I can barely hear but still obviously feel. I really like how these handle ANC because they do a genuine job of blocking out outside noise. And I think that the reason why I didn't really notice this before was because the change from off and on is so subtle. This is actually perfect, considering that you don't want ANC to immediately feel like it's plugging your ears in, causing gradual discomfort. So again, awesome job with this pair too. So when it comes to battery life, here we are looking at about six and a half hours of battery life on a single charge. 
but you do get a total of 20 hours from the case. You can get about three charges with a little more juice left from the case before you have to go back and charge these. It's not bad at all. So yes, these are definitely a great alternative to Sony's more premium pair of earbuds because it offers a lot and you still get a lot of in-app controls to work with. This is really good. For 150 bucks is at least roughly what I find these for on Amazon. These are really nice to be honest. It's very strong competition for AirPods, Google Pixel Buds, and Samsung Galaxy Buds. So if you like Sony already, then this is a no-brainer. I can't think of many reasons why someone wouldn't at least consider this pair considering everything that it offers. Strongly recommended. And if you are interested in purchasing this pair, then I will be leaving affiliate links down to Amazon in the description. If you were to use any of my links to make a purchase, then you would be helping out the channel quite a bit, which I would appreciate quite a bit as well. And also, please make sure to subscribe to this channel if you do like the content that you see. You leave a comment with any of your thoughts. And even follow me on Instagram, where I do post every now and then. And with that said, this has been Francisco from Tech Summit. Thank you for watching, and until next time, enjoy.